Hello and welcome back to another episode of Smart Tips. My name is Gavin Brennan. I'm a product specialist here at SmartSuite. And today we're going to be going over how you can organize records by quarter inside of SmartSuite. So we're going to start with a really generic opportunities table. It just has 35 sales opportunities, each of them with a status, a potential value, and importantly, a date opened. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a way to automatically calculate the quarter based on this date right here. So we can group it by that quarter and this will automatically calculate. So if I change this from March 27th to July, it should go into Q3 2025 down here. Thankfully, to get to that point, it's really simple because SmartSuite has a built-in function to calculate a quarter based on a date field. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and create a formula field. We're going to title this quarter test because I already created one for a demo. And you just start typing in quarter and you can see on the left-hand side that the function already pulls up. So here, all you have to do is have this function and inside of here, put in your date. So we have the, the date open field there. And this will return a numeric value for the quarter of the date that's inside of the field. So theoretically, this should just return a numeric value, right? So this is all one, 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 three, four, but how can we get it to say Q? And then how can we get it to specify the year? And what we have to do for that is we have to create a concat. Now concats, all that it does is it turns whatever you have going on inside your formula into a string and can combine multiple values. So here we would want to have this number, which returns the quarter combined with Q. So let's just type in Q in quotation marks, add a comma, and then boom, uh, we just add another parenthesis and this should result in Q1, Q2, Q3, et cetera. Perfect. And then if we want to add the year on top of that, we can just keep on going with our concat and add the other handy dandy function from SmartSuite, which is the year function. Now the year function, again, returns a numerical value based on a due date, but this time it returns the year. So what is happening is it's gonna be Q and then the number of the quarter, and then maybe we'll add a space and then the year of the quarter and make sure inside of these parentheses, we put in the date field that we're basing it off of. And just like that, we have all of our quarters calculated. This means that we can go and group by these quarters. And there we go. And this also means that inside of chart views or dashboards, we can denote these quarters and make measurements by this. So right here, we have a pipeline by the quarter. We can see what the potential value total is for Q1, Q2, Q3. And we can also use this to, to filter by status. So let's see, closed one, closed loss all of that over time. So that's essentially it. It was a really simple episode today, but this is a useful feature to anyone who's going and trying to build a CRM, even a project management system. All of them are gonna require you to get some sort of reporting on the quarter. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you have any questions, go and leave them down below in the comments. And until next week, keep on enjoying SmartSuite.